This is going to show you how to calculate drop either in minute of angle or in clicks. So, steps are to get ballistic data. You can get this off of some sort of ballistics program online or purchased, or you could do it the old fashioned way, which is get it out of a reloading manual. Okay, so then what you need to do is convert that ballistic data, which is composed of drop in inches two minute of angle and uh, then if you want to you can convert that minute of angle to clicks so when you when you have clicks that kinda takes all the thought out of it when you're in the field you estimate your range you look on a cheat sheet that's typically taped to your rifle and you adjust your scope the number of clicks and what I like to do is print off that cheat sheet and then tape it to the rifle buttstock so when I'm out hunting if I have time, I can look at the cheat sheet, adjust the scope, and take the shot. Now, that being said, if you're a jump shooting deer, which is the way I typically hunt, you're not going to have time. So, to get the uh, ballistic information, you need a few things. You need the ballistic coefficient of the bullet you're shooting. You need the velocity that the bullet is shooting with. And you need your rifle zero. So, some people like to zero at 100, some people like to zero at 200. Um, it, it makes a difference. Now if you want to get really technical and this is only if you're uh, gonna order like a custom dial from somewhere or if you're putting stuff into a, into an online calculator or computer calculator you need the distance that the scope sits above the rifle bore and that's a function of the make of the rifle and the, and the height of the rings. Uh, and if you want to get really into it you need the altitude and then the temperature. So an example would be my hunting load, 270 Winchester, 130 grain bullet measured at 3,000 feet per second, give or take, and a ballistic coefficient of 0 0.435. So with the ballistic table, yeah, this, this is out of a reloading manual, you find the long range table, you know, there's also short range tables, find the long range table, you find the ballistic coefficient, you find the velocity, and then you find your zero, and then there'll be a column of numbers. So this is what that column gives you and I think this is out of the Nosler book. So distance in yards, 100 to 600, and then the drop in inches. Now I have zero drop at 100 yards because I chose to sight my rifle in at 100 yards. And then 3 inches drop at 200 yards, 11 and a half inches drop at 300 yards. I figure this is acceptable because most of my shots are under 200 yards. If you want to approximate minute of angle at distance, you just assume one inch at every hundred yards. So at a hundred yards, minute of angle is one inch. At 200 yards, minute of angle is two inch, and so forth. Now, the, there's an actual, that's just an approximate. If you want to go with the precise, here are the numbers. 1.047 inches at 100 yards, 2.094 inches at 200 yards. This is the exact precise measurement, and it, it'll make a slight difference when you get out beyond 300 yards. I'm going to use the exact measurement in this example, and it works the same if you're going to use the approximate example. So, what you do is you take your drop in inches, and you divide it by the minute of angle in inches at, that, at the distance, and then you get your drop in minute of angle. So at 300 yards, 11 inches drop, 3 inches is 1 minute of angle at 300 yards, you get drop at 3.5 minutes. So on my scope, it's one quarter minute of angle per click, or it's four clicks per minute of angle, however you want to think about it. So at 400 yards, the drop is six minutes plus a teeny bit, and six divided by four is 24. That little rounding thing gives you 25 clicks. Now when you're, when you're calculating clicks, you're going to have to round to the nearest whole number because you can't go half a click. So here's the example, the final example, and this is what I'd write up or print off and then tape to my rifle. The distance in yards and then the clicks that I need to move up. Some people call this a come up or come ups. So at 400 yards, if I knew the deer was at 400 yards, then I could come up 25 clicks. Now there's a big difference between 350 and 450 yards and uh, if you get a ballistics calculator online 
that will give you uh, you can go by 25 yard increments you can go by 50 yard increments whatever you want I don't have a rangefinder so I'm not going to be that precise when I estimate so I didn't I didn't include any of that if you have a laser rangefinder you might consider it here's that same table showing all the calculations for the approximate one minute of angle per inch and here's the difference so at 100 and 200 yards the drop is equal at 300 yards you're one click difference so not really all that special at 500 yards you're two clicks different and that's a two inch difference or half a minute at 500 yards so practically very little difference if you're going to be doing some precision shooting maybe you'd care about that here's a little diagram of what drops all about you got your rifle on the left your target on the right and you see the target it's line of sight and then if the targets far enough away when you shoot you've got gravity and gravity pulls the bullet down and you miss the target so what you do is you adjust your scope so that when you shoot the bullet will arc up and over and hit the target that's the simple part now the so the barrel the bore of the gun is pointed up you're looking down the scope line of sight and the bullet will start out going up and then arc down this discussion could also be pertinent to point-blank range where the uh, the bullet arcs up and then comes back down and anything you know less than three inches up and three inches down is considered your point-blank range so thanks for watching and good shooting